while each year many people go missing. There may well be a reason for it. According to a number of files released by the United States Department of Agriculture, construction of an alien base is underway somewhere in a hidden area, located within the Tonto National Forest. This forest is located in Arizona and was confirmed by the United States Forest Service. Tonto National Forest, is the largest of the six national forests in Arizona. There were witnesses who gave details about what they had seen. Apparently, an email was even sent out to all the rangers within the department back during December 30 of 2013. The following email passages, give details about an encounter which is quite bizarre to say the least. David received a call this morning at the front desk from a mail caller reporting the construction of a secret government installation upstream from the Salt River Canyon past Pinal Creek, upstream from Roosevelt Lake. Aliens and at least one detached head are involved. Caller claims to have seen construction cranes coming out the side of the cliffs, miniature stealth planes and UFOs, aliens and people working together at the site, aliens eating people. He found a severed head and claims to have pictures of some of this stuff. Caller reported that he is 60, not crazy and doesn't do drugs. He said he had already called the office at the lake, but he didn't know if those people were turning the other cheek or maybe those people have been paid off. Records do not give any details about any kind of response to this tip-off, however the email also mentioned. Please let me know if there are any talking points to be developed. I'm sure the Phoenix media will be all over this. P.S. David and I aren't doing drugs either. Perhaps there is some type of collusion going on between both the government and one, if not more, types of alien species. These exchanges are being done for some kind of reason. One can only assume that kidnapped, sex trade victims, lost hikers and more are all being fed to these aliens for further information. This information may be for some kind of technological advancement or for something else entirely. There have been cars which have been abandoned, along with people's belongings in remote parts of the state as well. Yet many of these, if not most aren't reported about pubic ally. Long-standing claims have been made by conspiracy theorists who believe and might even have evidence about extraterrestrials living among us on Earth. It is believed that the government knows all about this yet they continue to keep things secret out of fear of what might happen to society and how people will react to the truth of things. This isn't the first time that the Tonto National Forest has been mentioned regarding alien activity. George A. Filer is a former U.S. Air Force intelligence officer. He claims that aliens were helping the United States during the Vietnam War. Now that time has passed, George is now the director of the Eastern Region of the Mutual UFO Network, MUFON. This organization is the largest public ally known agency dedicated to UFO research and alien investigation in the USA. One theory is, that some sort of deal was made between the aliens and the government to prevent these aliens from completely wiping out humanity entirely. Missing persons are being fed for assumed flying saucer technology and other advancements which are being made secretly until that right time comes for use. Allegedly, a huge underground base exists beneath Dulce, New Mexico which is about 250 miles from the Tonto National Forest location. Here a species known as Tall Whites are believed to reside at the Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada built in 1941. It is difficult to understand why this division of the U.S. Air Force needs 1,350 square miles of space. It is comparable to that of a small country. There must be a reason for it and who knows just how far these tunnels extend underground and what has actually been happening down there. Maybe just maybe the aliens were given designated areas to build and live here. All of this, would help explain the numerous UFO sightings seen around the country and elsewhere.